Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video because I really haven't filmed in a while. The videos that I have uploaded I had um, pre-recorded so yeah. So I wanted to kind of chit chat with you guys and get ready. Like always I'm not <laughs> ready. I didn't get all the stuff out but yeah. Um, I got this piercing today and on the other side as well it didn't hurt when i got it pierced but i was really nervous and scared because i actually went to i go to the same place i always go to get my piercings done and there was this girl getting her piercings i think her mom was making her get her piercing and she was crying so it kind of scared me when i saw a little girl crying I was like oh my god but she wasn't a little girl she was like maybe 13 or something um, but still, that, that looked horrible when the little girl was getting her ears pierced and she was crying about it. Because it hurts when you get your ears pierced. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to prime my face like I always do. Um, I already applied my moisturizer. I use that It Cosmetics. I'll try to insert a picture here. I'll list it down below for you guys. I already used that as my face. Uh, not as my face, but as my moisturizer i apply this right after i get out of the shower or wash i wash my face before i go to bed it's like my everyday thing um after like at midday i reapply it again so if i'm not wearing any makeup that's what i'm usually doing wearing moisturizer i'm going to apply the cover effects um blurring primer just going to apply this where my four show i'm going to do it on my nose forehead and my chin i just kind of want to help it to uh, fill any lines and pores or anything just so that my foundation looks flawless when i apply it um yeah so i, I don't know i feel like ever since i removed these two piercings if you guys follow me from like way back i used to have these two piercings and I removed it maybe a few months ago. I decided that I had outgrown them, especially when I started up, um, doing my lip injections. I decided that I had outgrown it, so I took them out. And then I feel like ever since I took them out, I feel like I'm addicted to getting piercings. So I do have one, two, three, four, five, six piercings. This one I don't really wear earrings on them. Um, I want to find some like really nice gold hoops maybe i do have silver hoops and i have silver earrings i just recently got these gold ones so let's see how that goes because i want to be able to switch around from wearing gold to silver whenever i feel like i want to change i've been wearing um white gold for a while so i kind of got bored of it i'm like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get me new gold earrings and everything i'm actually switching these two as gold as well um i actually went where i get my ears pierced they sell gold um uh, piercing so like might as well get them done while i can so yeah all right so after priming i'm gonna apply my foundation i actually switched it up you guys are gonna be surprised i'm actually wearing the double wear from sd lauder and i'm using the color 3w1 i don't know what it is i really like the color of this one um i did use it maybe a few times but i really didn't pay attention to it and now recently i'm really into it um the only thing i don't want i'm so used to having a pump that i'm not used to not having a pump so this one doesn't have a pump so i actually have to either dump a little bit behind the back of my hand or look for something around my desk and apply uh dump a little bit in there and it's kind of hard for me to move around because i have my curler here and it's kind of still hot so i'm trying not to move it around so much so if you see me struggling, it's because of that. All right, so I'm just gonna apply it behind this thing that I always use. Ooh, that's a little too much, too much. See, this is the only thing that I don't like because then it gets messy and it goes all over the place. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my Slay All Day from Gerard Cosmetics. My study spray, a lot of you guys asked me where it was from. It's from Gerard Cosmetics. Uh, you can use Pretty Grace for some money off. I'm not sure if my code is still working because I really, uh, all the thing that I have been using is their setting sprays. I do like their highlighters, but I haven't used them in a while. But I don't know. 
So anyways, yeah, I'm going to apply some of that to the sponge. And this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics sponge. I really like this one, but I already ripped it with my nails. And then one time with the strainer, I kind of burned it. I know I shouldn't be using it, but I haven't been able to find another one. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my face. This foundation is really nice, actually. I like the color. I feel like I got in lighter. I don't know if it's just me, but like I've been tr using the other foundations I usually wear and I feel like they look too orange or they look too pink. I don't know what it is. I even have the MAC foundation. This one is an NC35 NC and I feel like that's not even a match for me anymore. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that I got lighter or I don't know. I really don't go outside. So maybe it's that because on the over the summer I do go I do go sit by the pool a lot so maybe I get a little tanner. Um but right now I feel like I'm a I'm a lighter shade. So all the foundations that I do have are too dark for me, so I can't wear them. So I was looking through my drawers to find a foundation and I was like, "Wait, I haven't used this in a while." So let me clean this up. It kind of bothers me that it's leaking down. So yeah. So I really like to have the full coverage here on my cheeks. So that's where I concentrate the most. And you guys know me, I'm a full coverage girl. So yeah. And then I have to bring it down my neck a little bit. And then I'm around my nose. I have to go through my foundation pile to find a match for me for my Peach Perfect foundation because you guys already know how much I love that foundation. So I do have to go and look through my pile and um, look for a match. Let me know if you guys would like me for to do like one of those um, boxes that everybody's doing like for giveaways because I do have like a lot of makeup. Um, that I get and I actually like to donate it to like shelters for women um, so yeah usually whatever I don't have I like to donate it or I do giveaways or I do give it to friends and family I know they'll use it I don't like to just keep it here especially in my closet it's like nothing fits in there so I'm trying to be a little careful because it still hurts like it doesn't hurt but it's like sensitive so I don't want to mess it up. All right. I think that looks good, right? What do you guys think? Looks good? And camera, I don't know if it looks good. But in person it does. All right. So for concealer, I do have a bunch of new uh, concealers. But I do want to do an open box video for you guys. So I think I'll be doing that because I did get a bunch of emails and I'm getting packages this coming week so hopefully next week i can have those videos up for you guys because my mom called me and she's like i really like your open box videos you need to do more i had fun watching you open packages so i'm gonna be doing those videos so my mama can watch them so after i do the open box i will be using new products maybe do a first impression video with all these new products and see how it goes so let me know what you guys want to see because honestly i feel like my videos are not being seen and it's kind of getting frustrating like honestly i am this close of like just quitting being like you know what i'm done i can't do this anymore so let me know i'm gonna be using the born this way multi sculpting concealer and the color vanilla and i'm going to apply this under the eyes just to brighten them up a little bit on my nose and i still can't figure out what to do about my nose guys um the foundation and the concealer they just I don't know, once I put the powder on, it disappears and you and it's patching. I hate it. So, I don't know if you guys have any uh, ideas or anything that I can do. I definitely would like to check that out uh, and try because, I don't know. Everything looks good except my nose. My nose gets all patchy and you can see that the foundation and concealer are gone. So... So I'm just taking my time blending this out. Just want to make sure that everything is really nice and blended. And I want to make sure that if I have any extra product, it doesn't stay there because then it gets cakey. Okay, so 
see so I'm trying to um, blend everything out so if I have extra product maybe it'll help it because it just disappears on me once I apply powder so I want to see if that will help so I'm just going to blend this all out make sure everything is really nice and blended That looks good. I'm just going to apply some of this to the eyes. This is, I'm going to use it as a uh, eyeshadow base. So did you guys see the new products that um, Morphe's coming out with Jeffree Star? Um, I think it's um, three sponges and some brushes. The bag looks really cute. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I actually got an email that I'm, it's coming my way. I think that's what's coming my way because the last launch that they had was the foundations and they didn't send them to me so yeah so I'm going back with the same powder as always I actually have the um, bake beauty bakery do you know what it's called uh, better not butter bitter better not bitter beauty bakery setting powder gonna try that under my eyes but definitely for my nose I'm going to be using my Too Faced peach perfect powder because that's the one that keeps me um, matte all day so I'm definitely going to use that on my nose but under my eyes I'm going to be using the other one just to see how it looks so I like to take my time And apply this <coughs> okay so just going to pat this in my forehead I got it all over my shirt great I'm just gonna do my cheeks. Just wanna make sure that everything is really nice and set. Ah! Okay. Alright. And then for my under eyes, I'm going to apply the this one, the Beauty Bakery powder. See how that goes. I'm going to apply it with the sponge. So before I do that, I want to make sure that I don't have no creases. So I'm going to go and go back with the sponge. And then go with the powder. And if you guys hear any noise, the kids are in the living room playing, so... I don't know if this has flashbacks, so I will be trying that. I haven't been really taking selfies because honestly, they don't come out good, so I suck. So I'm just serving looks, that's it. Alright, so I'm just going to leave it alone for that. So lately, I've been using this um, Urban Decay, what is it, Brow Widowed? It's the primer and it has like a color and I'm using the color Rare now. I don't know that's what it says. So basically, you guys know I got my eyebrows um, microbladed and this is my eyebrows. I don't really, I have nothing on them right now. They must have a little bit of um, foundation on them. But this is my eyebrows. This is what they look like. Um, I just feel like maybe I might need like a, a retouch right here in the front. But, I mean, there's nothing biggie. I can fill it in with my brow pencil or whatever. But this is what my eyebrows look like. So, I don't really have to do my brows. But, sometimes I feel like I need a little, you know, something. So, I use this one. So, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to open up to the side of the primer. And it comes with a little brush like this. You're going to apply this product all over your brows. So, I like to go the way that um, they're growing. So, here they go up and then they start laying down and they, I kind of flicker them out. 
and then I go with the color and they have a bunch of colors I did show them in my open box video and then you're gonna go ahead and apply the color this is more like a warm brown So that's what that one looks like. I can't even see if I'm doing it right. So that's what that one looks like. And I think this is like a really cool product. Because honestly, I don't see me using the pencil because, I mean, my eyebrows are already filled in. So Then you can go with concealer and um, clean it up if you need to or whatever. Yeah. So you guys can see this is the eyebrow done. This is my other eyebrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that one. And if you want, you can go ahead and use concealer and you're good to go. They also have like a pen and everything. So yeah, all right. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and apply some bronzer. I'm using the Becca Cosmetics bronzer. This one right here. Um, you can also use the, the Morphe Celebrity Tonto. You guys know this is my favorite one. I had to go purchase another one because I was almost done with it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of that. And then I'll just apply a little bit of the Becca on top of this. So make sure that my brush is... Awesome. And then I do bring it to my jawline just to kind of shadow the double chin or anything. And then I kind of like to go a little bit higher just to um, change the shape of my round face. All right, so I'm going to go with the Cotton Candy Ch Champagne Blush Light Palette from the Beauty Bakery. I'm going to be using this. And I think I'm going to go with No Champagne, No Gain. And I'm going to use a Morphe brush for this. I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my apples of my cheeks. All right, so I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. All right, so I went ahead and did this off camera because I was like thinking what I wanted to do. And you guys know me, I have to do one eye before I do the other and yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hill palette. Mine is all beat up. I do have like another one that they sent me. Um, so I have that one as a backup because this one my son ruined it. But yeah, so I'm going to be using this shade right here and I'm going to apply this right onto my crease and I'm using a Morphe R37 brush and I like to pack this on. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'll apply a little bit of setting powder, on, setting powder, oh my god, setting powder under the eyes just so it catches any fallout and then I don't get no stains. So I'm just going to apply this there. I'm going to look crazy for a little bit, but it's okay. It's worth it because once the shadow starts falling, this will catch it and then we'll not have to start everything over. So I'm going to apply this right onto my crease. And I do do this a few times because I really want this color to show up as well. So this is, I think, one of my favorite shadows from this palette. Um, if you guys have seen my videos, I really do love this palette and I use it a lot. I just stopped using it because I know that you guys get bored of seeing me use the same palettes over and over. But I just wanted to show like that I really do f have a passion for the palette. I love the palette. I can do so many looks with the palette. So I don't want to just have to do like one or two looks and then stop using it. I really want to take advantage that I have it and use it, you know. So after that, I'm going to go with this darker green right here from the palette. 
And I'm using another Morphe M13 brush. And if you guys want to save some money, use Pretty Grace for some money off on Morphe. In stores, online, morphe.com, morphebrushes.com, or in store Morphe. Uh, you cannot use my code in Ulta. A lot of people have asked me and emailed me. You cannot. Sad. So I'm going to use that green shadow and I'm going to apply this right onto my crease. See, we already have um, fallout because I didn't tap my brush, but it's okay because I have that setting powder under the eyes and that's going to help um, for the pow fallout doesn't like stain my, my foundation or my crease, my face or anything. So yeah, so I'm just going to apply this here and it's going to look messy. Of course, we're working this into the crease. And then we're going to go back again with that same first color and we're going to apply this on top. It's just going to help us clean any harsh lines or anything and then we're going to go back and reapply the color and then reapply and blend and so on and so forth. You want to be able to see that yellow, that orangey shade. So. I'm gonna go back. You can definitely change brushes and go with the smaller brush. I don't know why, but I always feel like this eye looks better than this one. Or there's days where this one looks better than this one. I don't know why. So I'm just going to apply this here. And you wanna take your time, of course. You wanna blend everything. Make sure that thing really looks nice. You don't wanna rush into it because then it looks doesn't look like it really try so so yeah I think I'm good with that after that I'm gonna go with my Araceli if you guys don't know I'll link them down below I did a video on their products um, they have the Jalisco uh, palette and yeah they have lashes as well and they came out with the Jalisco palette um, and they came out with two brushes one liquid eyeliner and one lick uh one eye pencil so i'm going to be using this one and i'm going to apply it all over the lid this is going to be as a primer for the next shadow so it pops and it shows like this because if i were to apply the shadow by itself it won't look like this so i'm going to apply this all over the lid and i like this pencil because it's so creamy you guys and it's so easy to work with so definitely check them out um nice ladies why well, only with one so she's really nice um, and I really like their products and their stickers and everything that they do so yeah definitely check them out okay I think that should be fine I'm gonna make sure that there's no white spot there. all right so I'm gonna go with a Soiba brush and with my Gerard cosmetic setting spray I'm going to apply that onto my brush then I'm going with this color right here, the one that's next to the dark shade we use. We're going to use this one. That one is going to go on the lid. And I'm just going to apply it. So you guys can see how it looks with the uh, black uh, base or the black um, eyeliner. It just makes the eyeshadow pop a lot more. So definitely give it a try. I think I'm good with that. I'm gonna go back and apply a little bit more. All right, I think I'm good with that. So I'm just gonna go and remove the the setting powder. See, like I told you guys, it just helps with any fallout, so it doesn't like become messy. All right. And then I'm just going to go back with a little bit of this and then just blend this out because I feel like I still have a little bit of a harsh line. Alright, so then I'm going to use my lashes. These are the Araceli uh, lashes. These are the Chewy La Coqueta lashes. And this is what they look like on and this is what they look like in the packaging. Uh, like I said, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in getting some lashes from them. They're liquid liner. Bomb. 
I lost it. I can't find it. So I wasn't able to use it. But their liquid liner, it is like black. It's amazing. So definitely check them out. I'm going to apply some eyelash glue to the lash while I work on my bottom. So I can um so I can finish this look up. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that first orangey shade as well. I'll use it as yellowy orangey. I'm going to apply this under and I like to pack it on not sweep it because i feel like it doesn't really get that pigment that i want so i kind of just pack it my phone keeps vibrating okay so i'm going to do that then i'm going with that dark color that we applied on the crease with a morphe m22 brush and i'm going to apply this right in the outer corner not all the way in I just kind of want to bring it midway. You want to be very careful because sometimes you overdo it like I just did right now. So now I'm going to have to apply a little bit more on this side. And I kind of just blend this out. if you have any quickly okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and i like to wiggle them uh you definitely need to measure just to make sure that the lashes are not too long or too short or whatever you want to make sure you measure them i'm gonna grab my mirror i'm gonna grab my lashes with my left hand grab my mirror with my right hand and i'm going to look where i'm applying my lashes is that easy That feels good. You want to push the lashes in so they they dry right there. You want to make sure they're not they don't bother you. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyeliner. I'm going with that Aseli eyeliner, and I'm actually gonna go midway as well. I'm not gonna go all the way. So I'm just going to apply this on my waterline, and I need to sharpen it. I think that's good, right? Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, that should be good. All right. So while my eyelash is drying, I'm going to go ahead with some highlight. I'm going to be using the Guilty Glow Highlighter from Veramona. I think I'm saying that right. I'll link them down below. They sent me two highlighters a while back and I have used them in um, a few times, but these are new ones. So I decided to like throw the other ones and get and use the new ones. So this is what they look like. This one is like a more gold tone and this one is like more pinky. I'm definitely going with the gold tone. I'm going to spray my brush. This is like a Sigma old brush that I have. I really like this one for highlight. Um... I do have a favorite one. I gotta look for it. It's from Moda Brushes. It's my favorite brush to apply, but I don't even know where I put it. But oh, wait, it's right here. So I'll just use that one because that's my favorite brush to apply. And if I can't find it, I use the other one. This is my Moda brush. I really like it. You can use Pretty Little Miss Grace for some money off on their website. You can find these brushes on Walmart. You can find these in Mexico as well. I don't know what is the store called. I'll try to find out and link them down below, but you can definitely find them in Mexico as well. But yeah, this is my favorite brush. This is called a crease brush. I'm going to spray this brush with a little bit of setting spray. And then I'm going to grab my highlighter. We're going to go ahead and highlight these cheekbones. You guys see that? Highlighting to the gods. Even though that blush already had like a highlight, but I'm more into like gold tones. This is giving me life. And some up here, some up here. Oh my god, this like really applies so nicely. Look how 
oh my god i'm glowing people glowing so if you feel like it's too much you can definitely go and um just blend it out with some with your brush and that's you should be good to go but i am good i like it all right for lips i'm going to be using if i can find it right here uh this one is a liquid lipstick from the beauty bakery and this is in the color i like to cha cha chai chai i don't know it's this brown shade um i'm gonna go ahead and apply this to That one looks. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. I'm gonna go apply some mascara. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I need a brush to kind of clean this out because I feel like over here it's not really blended out. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I am wearing um, extensions just to make my hair look full because um, I mean my hair is already long so I just wear extensions to make my hair look full these are the Bellamy hair extensions uh, you can use pretty little Miss Grace for some money off if you guys are interested in anything on Bellamy I do have discount code to guys I will list them down below if you guys are interested in using them if not that's okay um, but definitely if you guys want to purchase anything I'll link everything down below um, and yeah this is the final look I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, give this video a like. Yeah.